settling into their new home. The European brown bears once again inhabit an ancient woodland near Bristol. This is the getting to know you phase of life here. Once that's achieved, they will then have to learn to share their space with wolves. For now, their enclosure is on another part of the Wild Place project. But shortly, they will move in with the bears. It's obviously always a little bit nerve-wracking putting two apex predators together, but um, yes, it will take a long time uh, to sort of, until we're really comfortable that they are going to be happy living in together. So we'll introduce them into an enclosure that sort of is, sits next to the bear enclosure, um, and they can see each other, get used to each other, smell each other. Much of this landscape would have been covered in woodland when these animals last roamed free here. Now they are confined to seven and a half acres but with the aim of giving a sense of how wildlife once used this habitat. These woods haven't seen bears roaming in them for a thousand years. It's a sight to behold and a glimpse into the past. It's theoretically possible bears and wolves could be reintroduced into the wild, although here they think it's highly unlikely. It's not just about how much space the animals need in terms of being a viable population in the wild. Um, it's also about the fact that there's a reason why those animals aren't here now, and that's basically us. Human intervention drove these animals out of Britain, changing the biodiversity of this island. But when it opens to the public next week, a little bit of natural history comes back to life. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Bristol.